In this video, you will learn how to search for journal articles using MLA International Bibliography and how to get the journal article you need. Using the topic Cultural Boundaries in Language or Literature as an example, first identify your concepts such as cultural boundary, language, and literature. Think of synonyms for your concepts. Cultural boundary might also be known as cultural border. Other terms related to language and literature are literary and linguistic. Now, let's start from the library's homepage at lib.uwaterloo.ca. You can access MLA International Bibliography through different subject guides, but we'll go through the Research Databases link in the right menu. Click on M in the alphabetical listing and scroll down to find MLA International Bibliography. Once in the database, type in your search terms and use Boolean operators to connect them. Using AND will search for results with both terms. Using OR will search for results with one or both of the terms. Note that we are using quotation marks for phrase searching. Note also that we are using truncation. The asterisk allows you to search for all possible endings of a word. For example, using truncation in the first field will retrieve cultural boundary as well as cultural boundaries. The default searching is in all fields, no full text. There are other options as well. Let's click on search. We retrieve 193 results. This is a large number of articles for a term paper. Browse the articles and see how relevant they are. Let's go back and look at the search options. We can limit our results to just peer-reviewed journals. We can also select a date range. For example, selecting after this date and typing 2005 will find articles published after 2005. You can also limit by document type and by language. Now let's click on search again. We have now received 13 results, which is a more manageable number. Let's look at the first reference. Note the author, name of the journal, volume, issue, and page numbers. Let's click on citation abstract to find a summary of the article. As we scroll down, we can see detailed information about the article, such as publication information, and subject headings. To get this article, click on the Get It at Waterloo icon to see if the library has access to it. We have this article. Let's look at the Project Muse full text version. A window opens up and a link to a PDF of the article can be seen. Good luck with your research!